to Dia TV Spotlight. Today we have Vandana Kumar, publisher of India Currents. Vandana, 25 years of India Currents. What a journey. Tell us all about it. You know, when we started, I didn't realize that this was actually going to be a viable business. India Currents was an idea. But the fact it transformed into a business, and here we are 25 years later, I would never have imagined that we'd be here. <laughs> they were, it was like this remarkable literary voice coming out of the diaspora of Silicon Valley and it was telling secrets and that's a brave thing to do. As truly indicative of how far we've come from those early days, I have some exciting news to share. India Currents has been invited into the Smithsonian to be a part of their new initiative to create an exhibition that chronicles the story of immigrants from India. The ethnic media which now reaches over 60 million ethnic adults in this country, long viewed as a kind of stepchild of American journalism. Indeed, this has been a distinctive form of journalism that arose because American journalism could not reflect the reality of so many communities' lives. And ethnic media grew up to serve the collective voice of communities otherwise that would have gone voiceless. You know, our team uh, spent quite some time trying to figure out how to celebrate this occasion. What would be reflective of a um, publication that showcases the Indian American experience? Should we do a banquet? Should we do a 5K run? Then a friend and longtime advertiser remarked that we've always been unique. So we decided to do something different, something representative of our thought content and our history. We teamed up with community organizations Narika and Nadat to put, to put together an unforgettable presentation, complete with satire, comedy, and great heart. Welcome to Nadat's presentation of Death in San Francisco. Nadat has been speaking plays in the Bay Area for the last 17 years in Hindi, English, and Tamil. This is our 39th production, and we are proud to present you for India. I came to America 32 years ago to live in a town where no one had ever seen a man from India. Over and over again, I was asked those first years, what does it mean to be a Hindu? That's in the whip. I do not know the answer, <laughs> but we'll make one last attempt. 